Hello everybody. Uh, good morning to Sunday Live with Sylvia. We've been having some wonderful technical difficulties this morning. And we've also been having some uh, Sylvia technical difficulties because Sylvia is not feeling 100% well this morning. <sighs> but here we are anyway. And as a modern energist, you just live life like mostly a normal person with your ups and downs that you might have. Good morning, my dear friends. And one of the things that I kind of like about modern energy is that you don't have to jump around like a demented happy bunny rabbit from dusk till dawn. You can get to be yourself and that I really like. You don't have to be anybody else and you don't have to be some kind of super person. <laughs> Can't say superman in these politically correct times, really. You don't have to be some kind of super person who is always at plus 10 and always wise and always wonderful and always fascinating and always on top of all the worlds. You can just be a human being. And I, I, I really appreciate this because <clears throat> I am a human being and I really can't, I don't need any more stress. I don't need to be exhorted or to try and to pretend to be better than I, than I am in order to sell a book, you know. It's uh, been one of my, my key things to say, all right, enough with all the, you're not good enough and you have to try harder and you have to work harder and you have to do whatever until your fingers bleed. There's enough of that. There must be a different way. There must be a better way. And so I was uh, wondering whether to do this live stream this morning because I really am not feeling well. My immune system is fighting some kind of a virus which hasn't manifested yet and it's a bit like malaria, it comes in waves and it's leaving me very drained and it's leaving me very low on energy and I I just love the fact that I can go at this as a modern energist. I love the fact that I can be aware of these waves of heat and whatever it is that sort of flows through me and the shivers when they come and I can um, support whatever is going on in my physical body as best as I can and not argue with it and not fight with it and not get distraught about it and um, well what what I generally do is I keep myself warm uh, take some vitamin C eat a lot of oranges as well natural vitamin C and limes and things like that and I take some aspirins once in a while because I just love aspirin. It just my, makes my energy body sparkle. And that way I, used to, I, I, I get through it and out the other side. And in the meantime, um, I do sort of what I can to keep my energy body happy. So it can support the physical body for, you know, what it needs to do. And um, yeah, sail through it that way and still manage to... <laughs> to do a live stream. So if I start snuffling and coughing, please do forgive me for that today. Ah, I see I got some lovely people here. Good morning to you all. I hope um, you are happy where you are. You are having a good time. You are looking after yourself and your own personal happiness. I love the way as a modern energist, there is so many things we can do. There's so many things. I mean, ah, Let's just start with the simplest thing, you know, like I've got this little crystal thing here. It's a little rose quartz roller. And, you know, that just gently sort of, you know, where do I feel these energy blockages relating to this cold? It's just gently soften and flow these things. It's just really, really nice. It's a lovely thing to do. Absolutely love it. It's just so soothing and it does improve the energy flow pretty much right away. 
which is a super thing to do. So uh, <laughs> could just be a simple little pebble, a rose quartz pebble, or an energy symbol. This is something I like an awful lot, an energy symbol on a simple stone. Just where do you feel this cold in your body? And then I'm just demonstrating that with the head, but you can of course do that with your entire body. Uh, you can also do another version of this, which is like, um, where would be the perfect place for me to just, just give a little... Give, give a little love and attention. Where would be that place on my person? And yeah, when you're by yourself, you can do that anywhere you like. And it's just a really gentle thing to do where you don't need to put in an awful lot of energy, which you don't have when you've got a cold or such a thing. Oh, there's, there's all these other beautiful things like um, aromatherapy oils are lovely for blocked noses and depleted spirits just a quick sniff of siberian sage and i can just feel my whole person it's just relaxing and feeling better which is lovely and then oh, there's, there's just so many things we can do some nice music dear energy mind suggest the right music for me right now to relax to which is lovely and then a song will come to your mind and then you can Thanks to modern technology, whatever it is, you can find it and you can put it on. And so, yeah, you know, there's just so many, many things that we can do. I, I saw in the comment that somebody bought a crystal recently. I had a dream yesterday while I was sort of drifting in and out of consciousness, keeping warm, of a crystal library. It was like a book library, only it had these wonderful crystals in it and people used to go in and check them out for a week and then bring them back which was kind of funky and i was walking through this and i was walking through the department where they clean the crystals when they come back which was lovely there was sort of weird round windows that funneled sunlight and moonlight and starlight onto those crystals yes um the lucid dreaming it's uh the star matrix thing has a lot to do with that it it i think it has a lot to do with that okay so um i was thinking of other gentle ways of raising energy when you're not feeling well and if you are feeling well you can still use these gentle ways of raising energy to raise your energy even more and really the one that i love the most which was just an extraordinary experience. It's one of the top star events of my life, which was when in 2009 I thought I was going to die and I was really not well at all. And in the middle of the night, I sort of got myself ready to leave the mortal coil, as it were. And so just, this was all right. Mortal coil leaving, fine. And I heard the voice. And the voice said loud, you know, if you've ever heard the voice, that's a research project for my dotage. I'm going to ask people about the voice, whether they've ever heard it in their life and what the hell that is. I'd love to know. But anyway, I so I'm getting ready to shuffle off the mortal coil and I hear the voice and the voice says. Find something to love. When the voice speaks, it just goes through every cell of your body. It's just, wow. And you can't not obey it. I mean, the voice really, this is something else. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, it told me to find something to love. And the aspect had to obey this. So she assumed the heart position and started to think of things and people she loved. And as this was happening, there was this enormous sensation of this giant water wheel slowing down and then reversing direction, slowly, just reversing direction. And as it was reversing direction, Life came back into me and more and more things that I love came to me until it was like a cascade. And yeah, and so I didn't die. Find something to love. 
that's just you know it's the best instruction ever it's it's the best thing ever it's just brilliant love is an outward going experience it's you love love comes by loving not by waiting until somebody comes along and starts loving you it's an outward going thing that spins up the heart center. When you love, your heart center spins up. And that's also where I got the idea from to talk about the revolution, that water wheel really turning the other way. Huh, so let's do a little exercise here in, in just having a bit of fun and raising some energy gently with that methodology. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to ask myself now what I love. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to say that and take a deep breath in and out. I'm just going to evoke it, say it, speak it. Raise that energy, if I will. Now you can go with me and say the words that I say or raise the energies that I raise. Or you can just say your own words. You know, the question is always, what do you love? And so I'm going to just start here. I love light sparkling on the water. I love moonshine. <laughs> Not the alcohol. Moonlight. I love moonlight. Mystical. I love fire. I love the stars. I love sunshine. I love the deep blue oceans. I love people. Amazing. Oh. I love green, green nature, abundant, fertile. I love animals. <laughs> I love making things. I love making things. Okay, I love being alive. I love the experiences here. And I love knowing that there's more. Infinitely more. Than I can ever know. That is so soothing to me. Thank you, dear energy mind, for giving me the suggestion of doing that this morning. That was wonderful. Moved a lot of energy. <sighs> and after that, if you are well and happy, then you should be sparkling, sparkling fountain of joy by now. And if you're a bit under the weather like I am, there is a great sense of oh, relaxation and I can go back to the couch, ah, make myself some hot lemon and honey, and just relax and let my body fight off this annual thing that is a cold the best way it can, and I'll support it with that the best way I can. <sighs> so, 
um, oh, I uh, did manage to, before I went down, uh, record a, a YouTube video, The Christmas Miracle. It's modern energy tapping. It's really good fun. And I'll put a link under this video so you can have a go with that. A more energetic Sylvia will guide you through a lovely little modern energy tapping sequence to let's open our hearts to receiving a Christmas miracle this year or two or three, which I think is quite wonderful. All right, so uh, from beautiful Eastbourne in radiant sunshine, a relaxed but tired Sylvia is going to wish you a wonderful week. Don't uh, stay above all the Christmas stress and rise up into the higher spiritual sort of levels and stay there and look down upon all the beetling around and keep your energy system bright and sparkly and happy and of course spread a little happiness as you walk by always because that's just a wonderful thing to do thank you for being here with me this morning lots of love to you and i will see you soon bye